this again. Hi, this is Mary Hernandez again with um, Genesis Kingdom. And today is speak to the dry bones and let your dry bones live in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to open up with the Bible verse that says, Though we walk through the valley of shadow of death, we fear no evil because the Lord is with thee. You know, and that's a very powerful statement. You got to remember that. You know, always anchor to Bible verses, you know, in trials and tribulations. And I pray for all my brothers and sisters, your king and queens, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> that healing, blessings your way, whatever it is that you're asking um, the Lord that you receive, you ask and you receive if you believe. Ezekiel 37, the hand of the Lord was upon me. He carried me out of the spirit of the Lord. He set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were many that were open valley and low was very dry. He said unto me, son of man, can this bones live? I answered and said, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, he said unto me, prophesied upon this bones and say to, to them, O ye dry bones, hear my word. Of the Lord, though says the Lord God unto the bones, behold, I will cause the breath to enter into ye, and ye shall live. I will lay snooze upon you and bring you up the flesh upon you, cover you with skin and your breath in you, and um, you shall you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. And um. As you read the Bible, um, you could get really deep, like, if you want to find out, like, what each Bible verse means, um, you would have to really go in deep and study, and I don't want to, I don't want to put too much in this, because I don't know what levels in the spiritual realm you're in, and if what you understand what those bones mean. Um, when we perish, um, our spirit lives. Our spirit's always going to be around, always. Uh, and then we have a soul. And depending on how we live on earth, and this is why right now on the way to the promised land, we have to preserve our soul and keep away from sin. So when we make it into the promised land, a promised land, um, if then they will live, <laughs> that a lot of us lost our soul because of sin and it's being restored and we will live again. You know, um, when I say this, um, the movie, I mean, the song, uh, Grave into Gardens, um, you turn bones into army, dun, 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 dun. and then he says, you give beauty for ashes, you know, um, if you listen to the lyrics, this will explain a lot of that, because um, a lot of the dry bones had perished on the way to the promised land and he will put flesh back in your bones and how you get the flesh back is once you start cleansing you by the word of the bible and shunning evil idols sins um having no other gods except our father jehovah you know and our king jesus and then um he says then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man and say to the wind, though says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O oh, breathe, breathe upon the slain that they may live. So I prophesied as I commanded me, as he commanded me and he breath came into them and they lived and they stood up in their feet an exceedingly great army. You know, we have the restoration of life and believe me when I tell you that. Believe me when I tell you that, when I'm able to share a little bit more, like with you guys, as you continue in a journey and reading the Bible and reading that, just know that we're in the fourth generation right now and we're on our way into the promised land. And not only us as children, but along the way, he also gave me the Gentiles, which is United States, you know, whole nations. And all he's asking for is repentance of sin. Follow the Ten Commandments. Have no other idols but love the Father, Jehovah, with all our hearts, all our soul, and all our might. You know, and then it goes, Then he said unto me, Son of man, 
These bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We're cut off. We're cut off from our parts. Therefore prophesy, say unto them, Thus says the Lord, Behold, O my people, I will open the graves and cause you to come upon out of your graves and bring you back into the land of Israel. And you should know that I am the Lord. I open the graves, O my people, brought you out of your graves. You shall put on my spirit in you and you shall live. I shall place you in your own land. Then you should know that I am the Lord. I have spoken it. Perform it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I will have performed it. I have spoken it and I will perform it, said the Lord. The word of the Lord came again unto me and he said, Moreover, son of man, may you take one of these sticks and ride upon it for Judah. <coughs> Sorry about that. And the children of Israel and the companions and take another stick, ride onto it for Joseph. <coughs> Excuse me. Joseph and the stick of Ephraim that I bind and rebuke that <laughs> that sickness that tries to come upon me. <coughs> Back to the pits of hell. <laughs> Joseph, sorry about that. And then Joseph, um, the stick of Ephraim and the house of Israel, his companions. And they join one another into one stick that they should become one thine hand. Then the children, thy Thy, thy people, they shall speak unto thee, saying, Thou showed us that thou meanest by this. Says unto the Lord, Thou says the Lord, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, the tribes of Israel. He follows. <coughs> and I will put them in him and him that stick in Judah. And I will make one stick, and they shall be in my hand. You know, a lot of people have it confused, but if you read the Bible really good, Israel is a girl. It's not. It was Jacob, and then there's Israel. You know, um, do more studying. Like I said, I don't want to throw too much on you, but I'm telling you the truth. Um, the, the birthrights actually belonged to daughters. They were daughters. Um, it says seven stars, but as far as I know, five. Um, and I'll look into what it means by the seven stars. I'll Google it. Like I said, I, I study still, and I'm still learning as I go. But maybe let this sink in and know in the journey what it means. You know, I know that we're hearing that a lot of prodigals are coming home. That applies to prodigal sons and daughters, our, our other half. Some are already on this side. Some are still transitioning. Pray for them. Pray for them. Do not be angry. Do not be anything. You know, Father, I don't want them to lose their whole, their soul, whatever has a grip on them. Father, that I ask that you, you take that grip out of them in the name of Jesus and you bring them into your glorious light. You pray for them anytime you hear anybody or anything. You know, if you're not praying, uh, maybe you have anger issues or maybe you're holding on to a grudge I know God had to show me you know in this journey and you learn you had to let go you know they're not worth it nobody is worth it understand we're all we're all members but one spirit and that is our father Jehovah at the end of the day we're all making it into the promised land some of us might not even live in the same nation same city same country who knows he's good you know, we don't know, but I know we're making it into the promised land, you know, and I know you are too, you know, so just don't let anything distract you with anger, um, whatever it is, it's not worth it. They're not worth it. You know, at first I had a little bit of problem with it because I was reborn again and I didn't know if I was supposed to, like, um, like, be okay with somebody not liking me, you know? Um, and this is very serious to me. So, you know, I'm, I'm keeping it real with you. I'm just saying, you know, and I didn't know if I could just be like, whatever, you know, and I, I prayed on it. I talked to my father, Jehovah, every day, every single breath. 
every day. I, I, I can't do it without him. I can't, you know, and I ask him, you know, I ask him every day to guide me, empower me, recharge me, give me a new vision, you know, and I had asked him, you know, is it okay for me, like, not to care? And he said, yeah, you just pray to them, you pray over them. If they want to hear the word of the Bible, if you want to hear what you have to say, amazing. And if they don't, you did your job. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be a godly woman if you were a godly man, if you weren't at least to say, hey, you know what? You're children in disobedient, being in sin. I was out there. I know. I was there with the addiction. I was there. So you always have to put yourself there because a lot of them will get defensive of what you were. Yes, I know I was. And look at what he did for me. He could do it for you. You know, and I would tell this to people that don't like me, but I didn't care because I didn't see them like that. I see them as lost souls the way I was, you know, and I know I say this a lot because it means a lot. That's like leaving somebody rent, you know, rent free <laughs> and they're not worth it. <laughs> like I laugh sometimes when I hear stuff like, you know, it's people that are sour, people that haven't let go, but you pray healing for them. You know, I know that I am healed. You know, and yeah, here and there thoughts come, you know, about things that happen along the way. You know, I'm not saying that it don't, but I don't have no anger issues with it or bitterness. It made me. Your hateration, the ones that did it, made me everything that he created me to be. You know, when they would come and attack, whenever they did anything, I was all like, it's because I'm doing right. Because they only attack somebody that you know that you have something big going on in your world something huge <coughs> that our father is doing they wouldn't be attacking you if you were nothing if you were nobody but they are hating because you are because i am and so are you and you gotta remember that who cares they don't like you bye they talk stuff i pray for you sister and i did it <coughs> I just don't say it. I exercise this and I said it. And hallelujah. <laughs> it helped. Well, this is um, the only video I'm going to do for tonight. You know, I'm going to try to lay down a little early tonight. Um, but continue praying. Continue meditating in the Bible. <coughs> Excuse me. And I pray for everybody healing and restoration. Um, and just stay on track. You know, don't give up. Jesus loves you. I love you. And I'll keep doing videos, um, you know, to keep you going, you know. And I know I was there, you know. But, all right, well, you have a good day. God bless you. And amen and amen.